Hi everyone, today our story is called Insect Hide and Seek. Insects are all around us, but they can be hard to find. That's because some insects are good at hiding. Their colors and shapes blend with their surroundings and protect them from enemies. In order to spot these insects, you have to look very closely. Have you ever looked at the stem of a rose? The stem has sharp points called thorns. A thorn bug's shape makes it look like one of these thorns. Since thorns aren't tasty, most hungry animals will go right past thorn bugs. Look at the stem in the photo. Can you find the thorn bug? How does it resemble the thorns? Young thorn bugs have another way to protect themselves. They shake together when they sense danger. Their mother feels the stem move and comes to help. Look at the twig in the photo. Can you find the walking stick hiding? It looks as if it is part of the twig. That is its disguise. The name, <clears throat> the name walking stick fits this insect perfectly because the shape of its body makes it look like a stick. It is like a thorn bug because it is shaped like a part of a plant. This helps the insect to hide. However, its texture, the way it feels when you touch it is quite different from the thorn bugs. This insect has the rough texture of a branch or twig. Walking sticks are among the longest insects in the world. One kind of walking stick is 13 inches long. Most of the time, these insects keep still. If they move at all, they move very slowly. When a tree branch sways in the wind, the walking stick sways right along with it. When you smell a flower, are you also sniffing an insect? It's possible because when a praying mantis sits on a flower, its green or brown color blends right in. As the mantis flutters and lands on a flower, it seems gentle and harmless. And for people, that is true. However, this insect, insect hides on flowers in order to catch and eat other insects. Look at the photo. Can you find the praying mantis? On the flower, the praying mantis, like the walking stick, sits very still. However, when another insect, such as a bee or butterfly, comes by, watch out! The mantis has legs that look like knives and a mouth like a can opener. It uses them to trap and eat the insect. In this way, the praying mantis is different from both the walking stick and the thorn bug. Birds search for food in a tree, but they probably don't notice a treat that's right in front of their beaks. That's because a katydid has a, a body shape and color that imitates a leaf. It even has veins in its wings that look like the veins on a leaf. So the katydid stays safe by blending with its surroundings, just as the praying mantis, walking stick, and thorn bug do. Look at the photo. Can you find the katydid? While a katydid may not be seen, it can certainly be heard. On warm nights, you might hear groups of them singing to one another. They make their distinctive sound by rubbing their front legs together. And some people think they sound like they are singing the words, Katie did, Katie didn't, Katie did, Katie didn't. In this way, the Katie did is quite different from the praying mantis, walking stick, and thorn bug. Well, that was really fun to learn about a few insects that are camouflaged, right? And we'll talk more about this later. Bye, everyone.